Hello friends, Quantum here, and this is Tiberian History, a modification for uh, Command and Conquer 3 Tiberian Wars. A very cool modification, uh, you can download it from ModDB. It basically adds a lot of stuff, uh, especially units, but also some buildings uh, from older um, CNC, from older Tiberium games, uh, but uh, not always older, for example there's a there are many units from Tiberium Dome, Tiberian Sun, but there is, for example, also um, a Mammoth Tank, advanced version of Mammoth Tank, that comes from, um, the, or that is inspired by uh, the, the game number four, the Tiberium, unfamous Tiberium Twilight. Uh, but it's much better here. I think it's funny how modders can create a better models than in uh, the better text better models better textures than uh, big a studios or companies like EA <laughs> so yeah mm, for example uh, some buildings are old like this uh, construction yard the barracks the refinery uh, but for example the power plant is, is new I must say I like this, uh, this style very much. And where to build this turret? Maybe here. And though uh, there are two enemies uh, on this map, and there is one ally. Uh, yeah. Mm. So we again, uh, like in vanilla game, have the attack cycle with missiles. The node buggy. Mm, but I think they have uh, changed mm, models and textures. But now we have APC that works just like the vanilla APC. I'm being attacked, yeah. And uh, this has been destroyed. Yeah, so cool. <laughs> so uh, that's all uh, when it comes to my expansion. Uh, let's rebuild this. Uh, Emissary. So yeah, when it comes to uh, the vehicles, we have this APC that works just like the GDI APC from Vanilla. You can put uh, infantry there and they will fire from the inside. Mm, and there is a Bradley as the basic uh, tank, light tank of the Brotherhood. And where is this expansion vehicle? I need some more harvesters. How is my ally doing? He's getting his ass kicked, why? If he goes down, then I will go down with him. <laughs> I cannot fight with, with two enemies on my own. But maybe I can, qu I can quickly destroy this this uh, easier guy here. Can I build this already? Please let me build this. Okay. Ah, low power. Okay, Abrams on our flank. I hope you will uh, manage to win there. Uh, let's build more turrets. Okay. Destroy the production, destroy the production. There is a fire battle base there. And there is a turret here. Great. But if I destroy his production, maybe I can uh, weaken him just enough. Crap, I'm losing my tanks. I must destroy this factory. Alright, uh, retreat. <laughs> okay, let's make a perimeter, defense perimeter here.
Uh, all right, let's let's improve our energy systems. Okay. Yeah, flame traverse. Uh, there's also this chemical warrior. This chemical warrior is OP. It's so powerful. Uh, let's build some uh, flame tanks and some more light tanks. Uh, how's my ally doing? Wow, he's uh, he's striking back. Good. All right, can I build this turret somewhere here? Maybe I will build a secret shrine and upgrade my infantry. Okay. Okay, some more tanks. And I think that soon I will be able to, to destroy this guy here. All right, let's upgrade. Uh, Confessor upgrades all militants. Tiberium infusion. Okay, and this is elite gunner upgrades all elite cadre squads. This elite cadre is something you can call as a power, but uh, it's not very effective. I don't like. I don't like it. I don't like using it. Okay, the base is under attack. Where? Here. Why? It's very bad. Let's send some units there to defend our our northern flank. Okay. Maybe some more units here. Upgrades are almost finished. Can I upgrade something here? Turrets. Ah, I don't use turrets that much. All right. Let's let's uh, attack. And I lost my turret here. Shame. Okay. Do they have those flames, flame tanks? I would. Uh, I could really use some artillery. Not has very effective artillery. I'm afraid there will be many defensive systems here. Let's just try to burn those buildings here. He will have to uh, rebuild them. Okay. Okay, back, back, back. Take lap. Uh, yeah, stealth tank from Renegade and this artillery. This artillery is very effective. This is this 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 artillery SSM launcher is basically a nuke. A m mobile nuke. Uh, all right. Everything is all right here. Mm, all right. I don't know if I have enough energy. Ah, barely. All right. Use, let's use the Sea Tiberium. This is very cool power that allows us to uh, seed some Tiberium. Yeah, artillery. I will just build this uh, more this more of those artillery units, some uh, chemical warriors, and I will attack them. I only need those artilleries, and I will blow this base up to kingdom to kingdom come. Okay, two artilleries. Uh, yeah, and after those artilleries are completed, I think I will go with stealth tanks, and I will attack this uh, uh, this uh, this enemy that is fighting with my ally with stealth tanks. I will hit from hit him from behind, and I I won't use uh, error units here in this battle. All right, let's uh, upgrade uh, our artilleries and stealth tanks and uh, also some some missile um, units like attack cycle and SAM site 
with the blue Tiberium mix. Uh, is the enemy attacking with me? Attacking me with some super weapons? No. All right, I have a. Uh, I have a lot of money, so I will show you how this elite cutter works. I can also upgrade this uh, if I'm using this. Show you how this works. Uh, it's a bunch of. Uh, a bit uh, better infantry, but they are not that good. They are stealthed, I guess. I didn't know that. And they can uh, plant explosive charges. Uh, not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, the Devil's Tongue is... Uh, this is a powerful skill, because this allows us uh, to spawn a stealth tank a special advanced stealth tank in basically anywhere. If we have a vision there, we can spawn this tank there. Alright, let's attack. Let's attack from the south. This direction. Okay. Ha! Ah, the enemy built uh, too many buildings and his turrets uh, lost its power. Yeah, let's use this uh, artillery on, on this turret. As you can see, this artillery is so powerful. Ah, shit! <laughs> I blew up some of my own units. As you can see, few shells and even the most uh, durable, the most tough buildings will be destroyed easily. Especially with this uh, blue Tiberium upgrade. Oh, there's this battle base. Uh, so yeah, artillery. One salvo and it's done. Great. Harvester under attack. How could that happen? Uh, Alright, so I will show you how stealth tanks work. Yeah. Uh, they don't uh, shoot uh, as many projectiles as in uh, the vanilla game. Uh, but they are, they are also, also powerful, especially with the blue Tiberium upgrade. Uh, let's seed some Tiberium, and and wow, uh, my 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 ally have finished this enemy. So I will show you how this, uh, this special tank works. Yeah, it's super. It's it's just wonderful in uh, in a campaign because you can play uh, campaign campaign missions here with this mod. Uh, when you spawn this in enemy base and you try to level up and don't lose it to enemy units, it's just so good. Wow, why there are uh, ally, ally buildings here? Alright, something is still alive. I think this... oh! Actually, yeah. There was one uh, power plant, I think. Yeah, so that was uh, the Brotherhood of Nath in a very cool mod, Tiberian History. You can download it from ModDB. And uh, from me, that's all. Thanks for watching, and until next time.